The William Vince Foundation was established to honor the legacy of Bill Vince, a Canadian film producer who touched thousands of lives with his positive energy, generous nature, and commitment to charitable works. In 2008, Bill lost a battle with cancer at the age of 44. This is the story of his legacy and of the charitable programs he helped establish. It is my pleasure to welcome Bill Vince, the guy who steers a small firm with big hits, to Studio 4 to tell us a lot more. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. There was a story written about you, mm -hmm. and, and you said basically the producer is like the daddy. Yes. Big daddy. Uh, you hold the reins and the power in a film. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, again, I always create a very stable environment for creative people to work under, and that allows them to really thrive, which is really what mm -hmm. being a parent is, too. I, if you, you, know, you have to, if they start to go unbalanced, you try to get them more leveled out, and, and you just give them, you know, guidance that lets them stay focused on what they're doing. And I never planned on being in the film business. My brother got into the film business early. He dated a girl at West Van High School and his, her father was a film producer. Very smart. Yeah, <laughs> and then we just fell into it from there. Over his 20-year career, Bill established an international reputation as a successful producer with wide-ranging technical knowledge and experience in all aspects of international feature film production. Now, the first movie I did was a movie called Cafe Romeo. And we did the Air Bud series, and then we did a movie um, called Bulletproof Heart that did very well, and then we did Saved and so on. Hello, my name is Truman Capote. In 2006, Bill produced the critically acclaimed Capote, the crowning achievement of his illustrious career. The nominees are Capote, Caroline Barron, William Vince, and Michael O'Hoven, producers. The Oscar goes to Philip Seymour Hoffman and Capote. I would like to thank Bill Vince and Caroline Barron and Danny Rosette. Uh, the film wouldn't have happened without them. Bill was a generous supporter of causes that were close to him. Another part of Bill's legacy can be found in the charitable acts he undertook, including funding a calendar to raise awareness of dyslexia. When you're dyslexic, you have to work really hard at stuff, so my work ethic is very high and uh, so I outwork people and I am very committed to everything I do. I call it more of a benefit than a handicap. So I always uh, judge things very quickly. I make fast decisions because I have to. I have to go on the fly all the time. And you call it a gift in yeah. a sense. Yeah, I do. I mean, that's the way I'm taking it. I draw on different uh, senses and different skills than the average person does. And I think if you look at a lot of the successful dyslexics, that is what they did. I mean, from Churchill to, you know, those type of people, they'd drawn from a different area and they were able to see things differently. And I think that I'm a really good judge of character of people and I make decisions based on the people that I meet very quickly and whether I want to back them or not. And I usually guess right. Bill was passionate about helping people overcome adversity and realize their own dreams. To this end, he created Intersections Media, a film training program for youth at risk in the downtown east side of Vancouver. I've lived on the streets for a lot of years, so this was the perfect segue from living on the streets to get enough skills to actually feel comfortable in a classroom surrounding. A lot of youth don't have a place to go. They don't, they're looking for an, an outlet to express themselves. Because of Intersections Media, I now feel that I'm well equipped to go out into the world. And it's fun, it's creative, it's interactive, and it, you work in group situation and you make movies and documentaries. Whether it was his acclaimed restoration of the abandoned Golden Harvest movie theater in Vancouver's East Side, or any of the many films he produced, his career and life were a testament to the values of hard work, dedication, discipline, passion, and compassion. In both work and play, Bill was an inspiration to all who came to know him and would never let anything, including a severe learning disability, stand in his way. I think it's just you, you think differently and your brain works a little bit differently, so once you accept that and you work it, then you can grow very well with what you have. 